Cortalonavicular and calcaneocuboid, there are um, mobilizations into AP and PA, um, but we're not going to go into them at the moment because I think that if you do your pronatory and supernatory twist, you get more functional mobilization, but you can look in various books and you can do um, uh, mobilizations into um, uh, PAs and APs of both of those um, joints. So, <clears throat> but we're not going to not going to go into that. We're going to move down to the tarsal metatarsal joints. Okay. So, <clears throat> if you look at, um, you think about the first. Tarsal metatarsal joint that's between what? Which bones? Cuneiforms and cuneiform. The first cuneiform and the first metatarsal. Okay. And the second one is between the second cuneiform and the second metatarsal. And the third one, third, third. cuneiform and the third metatarsal. Then what happens? Cuboid. You run out of cuneiforms, yeah. right? <laughs> so, um, just slide down the smooch. Okay, I like peeling off the edge of the bed. So, uh, to find the first cuneiform and the first metatorso, you find the first metatorso and then you follow it proximally until you hit the joint line. Okay, and then you're going to find the, um, t the navicular tubercle, okay, and come dorsal from the navicular tubercle and distal, okay, and that will be the cuneiform. So here's the first cuneiform and the first metatarsal. So I'm going to hold cuneiform, and I'm going to use either the length of my thumb or the heel of my hand to create a plantar glide for the first metatarsal, or in this case, you can pull up for dorsal glide. So just like in the fingers, you could go up and down because there's not a lot of resistance. So that's the plantar glide. <laughs> And then you're going to come uh, more laterally. You're going to hold the first metatarsal and the second, and then move to the second um, cuneiform. Hold the second cuneiform and glide the metatarsal, dorsal, and plantar. And then you can move laterally to the third cuneiform the third metatarsal, and you're holding first, second, and third metatarsals, and you're gliding them. But the fulcrum is going to be on the second, on the um, third cuneiform, third metatarsal. Okay? And then <clears throat> the other one is the cuboid, and I'm just going to use your other. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. So the cuboid again, you find that cuboid and you're going to hold the calcaneus and the cuboid and um, put, you can let your hands um, uh, glide over the fourth metatarsal or you can do, and you can do the fifth metatarsal separately. So you do the fourth and fifth and then you do the fifth separately, because the fifth has the most mobility, okay? <clears throat> so those are the uh, tarsal metatarsal joints. <coughs> then you're going to go to the intermetatarsal joints. So the rest of this is very similar to um, the hip. So you go to the intermetatarsal joints, and <coughs> so what you're going to do is hold the fourth, uh, hold all four metatarsals, take a hold of the first, and try to move the first on 
the second, up and down. Okay, then you can hold the first and the other four, and you can move everything up and down. And then hold the first and second, and with one on the medial side, and then third, fourth, and fifth, and move them. And then stabilize first, second, and third, work the fourth and fifth, stabilize first, second, third, and fourth, and work the fifth. Okay? So that's general <coughs> inter um, intermetatarsal mobility. Um, and then you can do that horizontal AB and horizontal AP reduction, which is why everybody goes to pedicures. Okay, mm -hmm. so we go like this and then like that. So your thumb, <coughs> your thumbs basically um, are at the heads of the metatarsals, and then you're going to just spread the metatarsals. So you're, it's basically horizontal adduction increases the transverse metatarsal arch, right? Horizontal abduction decreases the transverse metatarsal arch. Okay, so these guys and these guys, okay? So we're going to practice those, and um, after we finish practicing those till about 5.15, then on uh, <laughs> um, then on then what we need to do is really police this um, classroom a lot because on Sunday we're having um, accepted students day. I don't know if any of you are aware of that. So students who have been accepted for next year's class have been invited to come in and see the school. 